Welcome one and all to my YouTube channel, Techno Babble. I am the Techno Babbler here with your Rags to Riches series following the life of Nathaniel Page. And I will tell you what, right after the last episode, we were working on some friendships. We came to this brand new house. I've never come to this house to meet some more neighbors. Nathaniel also found a potential love interest and uh, got a little infatuated with her. And after he came to this house, he was trying to figure, it was almost like a Cinderella story. He was trying to figure out who this lady was, where she lived. And so he came to this house that he had never been to before, introduced himself to some lovely Sims, made some friends, also prepared his very favorite dish, the fruit salad, because the fruit on Sulani is so fresh, he could not pass up uh, the, his favorite meal to make for his new friends. And while he was hanging out here, they were, of course, gracious hosts. They let him have a shower. They let him rest a little. And then he was eating and... He was in the house by himself. They had to go, uh, the neighbors had to go somewhere else. And all of a sudden, Nathaniel saw something in the other room. And so we are heading in there to figure out what is actually happening. So you guys can see there's this blue glowingness. So he is coming in here to figure out what is happening. So he's having sort of like this island uh, experience right now. So I clicked on these things and it was commun try to communicate, commune with spirits. So... Nathaniel's been here long enough. He's really trying to figure out this island. So he just had like this very supernatural experience, which is going to leave an impression on him. So I think he's going to actually stay here because they said you can feel free to stay the night. He's going to stay here and, and then talk to them in the morning to find out what he just experienced. As you guys can see, Nathaniel is either in a very deep, like, dream or something has happened here, but the island spirits are hovering around. And I also noticed while he was sleeping, he now has island luck from communing with island spirits. Nathaniel has been granted good fortune, improving his skill and motive gains. How cool is that from communicating with the spirits? And I am, like, trying to, like, have more conversations. There we go. We can commune with spirits some more. So I think he's going to get up. And he's really just having like a moment here where he is trying to like understand what's happening. He's not terrified, but he is very curious about this. Look at this. This is amazing. He's totally communicating with the spirits of the island. And they're like giving him all of this great island luck. And it's made him in a great mood. So we are going to take full advantage of that. And the other thing that happened off camera was, let's see, it popped over here. He has gotten a good reputation, so when he is meeting people, they have a higher-up friendship right off the bat. And he's also becoming a little bit famous here on the island. And so I thought, you know what, we'll play with that. He's he's not trying to become a famous person, but I think here on the islands, he's becoming pretty well-known for being an outsider from Brindleton Bay who's moved to the Sulani Islands for the summer. Uh, and we have all these different options. I think we're going to go with noticeable and says there's something about Nathaniel that makes him stand out from the crowd and makes other Sims take notice. And you know what? I just think that is 100% something that would happen to him. What else to say? By honing this aspect of his personality, there is a chance that any single skill or career-based action from here on out may catch the public's attention, giving Nathaniel an extra boost of fame. That's pretty cool. But he's definitely very noticeable. So I think what we are going to do today, like I said, we made a new friend, so we now have nine. We need to increase our charisma skill. We talked about doing that last time, and I didn't actually get a chance to do too much to develop that. And there is no mirror in this bathroom, but I love this, like, bathroom. I love that it is this, the slit, uh, what do you call this, like, slatted door and windows. It's so islandy, and I just absolutely love it. And the other thing I want to do is... I keep making this fresh fresh fruit salad because I know there is some fruit growing on the island, but I have yet to come across any that is in full bloom. So I want, in this episode, to find some fresh fruit. So we are going to set out, uh, I think we'll head over here to the sandbar because I believe it has, in the bathroom, I believe there's a mirror. If not, we will find ourselves a mirror somewhere. Well, I just checked the bathroom, and there's no mirror. So apparently they don't have mirrors here on 
Sulani for whatever reason. And there might be one. Actually, you know what? I know for a fact there is one over in our friend's house. But I'm going to have him come over here. And he is going to have a friendly interaction. He's going to brighten his buddy Uku's day. You know, that's his nickname for him. He calls him Uku. And you know what? He is going to ask about this interest that he has. This um, other sim that he has kind of taken up a curious nature with. Uh, we are going to ask about another sim, and let's see if I can find her here in the... Yes, Rarahu Ausage. Ausage? Ausage? Rarahu is what we're going to call her. And let's see if we can learn anything else about her. She barely got a chance to get to know her. She was walking by on the beach, and he was playing, making sandcastles with his uh, group there, and he just kind of becomes became smitten with her and, like... They started chatting, they played on the uh, swing set for a little bit, and then she had to go, and so it was like he didn't get her number, he doesn't know anything about her, so he's really excited to uh, find out more about her. What did it say? Ah, uh, let's see. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting her. Man, no one has met her. Maybe, uh, maybe you know a little bit about her. We could also maybe uh, brighten your day. We can definitely compliment that snazzy outfit. Oh, you could tell an unbelievable story. That'd be good. <laughs> Here comes our new friend, Leah, right? Leah, yeah, this is our friend that we made. This is Leah. She lived in that house we were just at that had the island spirits going on. Uh, we will just, I think, take a little bit to have a conversation here. Uh, we'll get to know Afu a little bit better and maybe see if we can see if he knows anything. Let's see. Uh, let's come in here. Let's go. We definitely want to ask him, though. We want to ask about another sim. Yes, we barely know you, but we want to know if you know Rorahu because... We have become slightly obsessed with her, and we want to know more about her. So they're going to have a brief conversation and maybe make a new friend with Afu here, uh, hopefully, since we have this good, uh, this new trait from being a little bit famous. Oh, we just learned that he's self-assured. Uh, maybe, just maybe, they'll become friends also, and we can get another friend out of this. So we will pop back shortly after they've had this conversation. Well, Afu was not very helpful. We, He said that he also had not had the pleasure of meeting Rarahu. So the mystery continues. And so Nathaniel will try to figure this out. Meanwhile, he has been chatting up his buddy Uku. And you know what? I want to try something. We're going to try blowing in the conch because I want to make sure that our friend uh, Uku is not a mermaid. I want to see what happens if we use it too. I haven't actually used it in front of another sim. I want to see if anything happens. Let's see. Does he do anything? <gasps> you guys! Oh my gosh. Did you just see that? I think that means Uku is a mermaid. <gasps> We're totally gonna ask, are you a mermaid? He's probably gonna be like, uh, what are you talking about? Why would you think I'm a mermaid? He's like, well, I've never seen you at a house before. I only ever see you at the bar. Come on, Uku, just come clean. Are you a mermaid? Mermaid? What gave you that idea? I don't know. You just were literally, like, yipping and having a, like... Yeah, wait, wait, wait. It just saw something about a strange reaction. What did it say? Friendly. Ask about strange reaction. Absolutely. Oh, and this is a person we're supposed to get to know, too. Maybe we will, uh... Let's get to know this guy. This... He is Vea Parata. And uh, we don't know enough about them, but we can work on a relationship with them as well. And then maybe, just maybe... Let's see what he says about this. Yeah, what was with that strange noise you just made, Uku? What was that about? Let's see what he says. What are you going to tell us, Uku? What was that? It says, Uku is a merman. Something sure seemed fishy about him. <gasps> you guys, that's our first official mermaid that we have now met. Anyways, that's pretty much like his best friend. They haven't become best friends yet, but he's... He doesn't even know that much about him, but he's a friend. He's a good friend, and it's one of his first buddies that he started, uh, that he met here on the island. And Uku offered him up some food and tries to keep him, you know, was trying to help him out when he first got to the island. So this is a good friend of him. And uh, Uku, I guess, runs this bar here. And I think before we head out of here to go do some other things, we are going to just jam a little bit because we are feeling very confident from our island luck. It will help... Uh, Maybe he make a few coins from some of these people here. Oh, and here's another Afu. This is is this a different Afu? Wait, I'm so confused. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Somebody's name would you just This guy's Parata too. I wonder where they live. I wonder if they live here on the island. Oh, you know what? Before we leave, we definitely need to ask Vea here. Uh more choices. Friendly. We need to say, hey, do you know 
about Rarahu because we want to get her number and get to know her a little bit better. Oh, and of course he's getting hungry, so we are going to just do some jamming and then we will ask Vea if he knows Rarahu. Nathaniel decided before he was going to head over to his friend's house, he was going to come up here and grab a bite to eat and introduce himself to what is her name is Teulia and he's not met her yet so I'm excited to see that interaction and see what happens after oh yeah look at that it jumped way it jumped up really fast that's pretty cool uh and I want to see what was gonna happen with that and then maybe since she lives here on the island maybe she knows we'll discuss interest we'll get to know her a little bit better but let's maybe ask her you see we are obsessed it's we, right? It's not it's it's not me. It's Nathaniel. <laughs> He's obsessed with getting to know who this Rarahu Sim is. Now, he did ask uh Vey about it, and Vey said he didn't know a lot about her, but did have her number fruit through another acquaintance. So he gave her the num gave Nathaniel the number of Rarahu. So maybe he can call Rarahu and say, "Hey, we met the other day here on the uh swings at the beach you know nice little awkward conversation you know what we'll start with a nice casual text so we will pop on his phone and we will send a text to Rahu and said hi do you remember me <laughs> uh we met on the beach i was that guy pushing you on the swing what are we waiting for chat with my May lately where'd she go where did melee go oh she was was that her she was out swimming no that's somebody else uh, what are we doing? We are having a conversation with this. We're going to send that text. We do need to get some food, though. Let's see. What can we order? We can order tropical vegetable plate, grilled fruit, pork adobo. That sounds really good. Roasted fish, barbecue salmon. Uh, what is the cheapest? It looks like grilled fruit or tropical vegetable plate. I think I will try the, you know what, for $1 or more, we're getting that pork adobo because that sounds absolutely delicious. So he will get that, have some food, and then maybe use the restroom before we leave. And then we're going to find a place to work on building up our charisma. Because we now have another friend. We only need two more friends to fulfill this goal. That's awesome. And I think we are definitely working on our charisma skill. We can definitely do that while we're talking here. We can, uh, let's see, more choices. Friendly. What are kind of options do we have here? We can compliment outfit. We can maybe brighten her day. Let's see, friendly. Uh... Let's ask her about her career. I'm pretty sure her career is working at the fruit stand here. Uh, let's see. More choices friendly. What other options do we have in here? We can uh, brighten her day. Nathaniel has learned that Teulia Te 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 is a vendor at Hogan's Grub Stall. Well, that's what this says. Hogan's Grub Stall. I love it. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. <gasps> you guys, you guys, you guys. I think that's her. Let's see. <gasps> Where'd she go? Imagining things. <gasps> there she is. Come over here and talk to her. Stop talking to everybody else. Wait, what's going on over here? Is there like a... There's always like... There, this looks like an event's about to happen over here. I'm loving it, but I didn't know there was an event. So let's stop chatting with that person. We're eating this pork adobo. We will come and talk to Rarahu, who's coming here, and then maybe we can play that guitar at this event. Isn't she a beautiful sim? Okay, let's see. Is he going to come over? Oh, she's going to come over and talk. <gasps> yes! All right, so we definitely need to get to know Rahu here. And uh, he's, he's, like I said, he's become rather obsessed with her. Curious about her since no one knows anything about her. Uh, we can definitely talk about, let's uh, maybe, let's just get to know her. Let's see what her options are. Let's see, can we, well, let's ask about her career. We can uh, maybe tell an engaging story. We will, uh, <laughs> we'll definitely not show off muscles yet, but we definitely will get to know. She is unemployed, all right. That's cool. That's cool. What do we? Know, what else do we know about her? Do we know anything yet? Nothing yet. But he can definitely start to get to know her. They can maybe. Oh yeah, he could share his mermaid discovery. That's a new interaction. Oh, she loves music. This is like potentially a match made in heaven. Uh, we definitely need to get to know her a little bit better. Uh, let's see. We can. Uh, let's discuss interests. We want to get to know her more. We know that she's unemployed. She's a music lover. What else can we get to know about her? Can we uh, tell a joke, maybe? Let's see how that goes. Uh, we, she's a dance machine. Th this sim might be the love of his life, and he doesn't even know it yet. Uh, let's discuss food flavors. Let's see what she thinks about food, talking about food and what have you. 
<gasps> she's gone. See, it's like a Cinderella story. She always just all of a sudden up and disappears. But we know where she's going. So we are going to finish our food, go use the bathroom, and then head over to that event. Okay, so I wish there was some sort of awesome calendar that we had. Oh, wait, we do have one. But I wish when we were here on Sulani that we could see these events that are coming up. Uh, I guess they're like holidays. It says it's the happiest hour of all. Oh, that's just a happy hour at the bar. But what is this event? Like, I'm loving whatever's happening up here. We've got some people dancing with fire. We've got this big thing going. Maybe let's, uh, oh, we can totally dance. Oh, fire dance for fame. Yes, let us do some fire dancing. We're going to try to show off a little bit to Arahu because, you know, why not? We've got the island, uh, island luck on our hands right now. Look at that. The spirits are with us. We are feeling the exciting island vibes, and we want to get into it. So let us see how this goes down. I cannot wait to see. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Okay, so Nathaniel is having an absolute blast at this event. I wish I knew what this event was. It looks like it may be in celebration of just, I don't know. Uh, we're not going to join in clubs right now. Just being part of the uh, island, I don't, I wish I, like, I wish there was, like, a name for the event. I have no idea. But is Arahu, is Arahu still here? She is still here. Good. Uh, we can come over here, and we can maybe, uh, let's tell her an unbelievable story. And then is it possible to, oh, we can listen to you. So maybe if we say, let's maybe, more choices, let's go ahead and action, add to group. And then can we dance together? Yeah, maybe he will be a little bit bold and he'll say, hey, do you want to dance together? This looks like a celebration of fire. Everyone is literally just grabbing these things and having a crazy good time flinging fire around. It's like celebrating the volcano or something. It must be like, I'm going to go with it's like the volcano. We celebrating the spirits of the volcano. Look at this guy dancing. It's terrible. Oh, no, he's just telling an unbelievable story. I thought he was dancing. He, he kind of looks like he's dancing. He's really feeling this music, though, I guess. He's so feeling the music that he is dancing while telling an unbelievable story. That is great. Oh, she's uncomfortable. What's he doing? It is, see what's happening. Is he, is, uh, is that Uku? I think that's Uku. Let's see, is that Uku over here? Yeah, Uku is having a great old time doing the dance. I thought you were dancing machine. How come you are not dancing with me? This is crazy. We're going to discuss interests, though. We will brighten her day, maybe. Oh, let's enthuse about guitar solos. And then let's come over here and let us um, pluck some inspiration. And then maybe let's, uh, shall we jam for fame? Sure, let's do all that. We will definitely do that while we have this group here. Oh, wait, who's this? This is Umea... Ooh, how do we say this? Umayma. Umayma. I don't know how you say that name. Mam Mamea? I'm loving the name, though. Uh, what are we doing now? Let's see. We are chatting with Arahu. Of course we are. We should definitely maybe more choices, romance. Let's uh, exchange numbers. Say, hey, interested in seeing you again. I, I think I had your number right. Uh, I got it from a guy who knew you. Doesn't sound too creepy, does it? <laughs> She's like, you're a little obsessed with me. Uh, let's see, maybe, let's see what she thinks. Oh, she's excited to get that phone number. Oh, no, she's getting ready to leave, isn't she? she watch, what's happening here? Oh, how are we getting a $10 tip? Oh, we're giving a $10 tip. Okay, there she goes, just like Cinderella. All right, well, you know what? I think we will go ahead and wrap up this episode here. We are going to jam right here while we have this festival going on. The Volcano Festival I'm going with, celebrating the volcano spirits and the spirits of the island. And I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. I am really excited for him to pursue his romantic interest. I know we need to make 51,000 simoleons. And we it's a, it's a tight goal, and we have, like, what, 17 sim days to do it? But who knows? Maybe uh, he'll fall madly in love with Rahu, and she'll be super rich. <laughs> Of course, I don't think that is what Nathaniel will be looking for. I think he is just finding himself, discovering himself, loving this island life, loving the people of Sulani, and loving getting to know the island. So, like I said before, I hope you guys are really enjoying the episode or the series. I am seriously having a blast making them for you guys. And until next time, Tomalagi! Tomalagi!